In this video, we are installing MySQL server. Let's head to Google, type MySQL installer, click on MySQL installer 5.7. Let's scroll down. MySQL installer is 32 bit, but we'll install both 32 bit and 64 bit. So our installer will install for both 32 bit and 64 bit. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and when you see window x8632 bit MSI installer and this is web community 5.73.0 click on the download button and that take us to another page scroll to the bottom of the page only presents you with a login and sign up ignore these two and notice this line here no thanks, just start my download. Click on this, the download has kicked in. Double click the installer on the desktop. Click the run button. Now we have just to sit and wait. Click install my SQL at the top, then agree to the terms. Click next, execute, next again, execute and next. Keep clicking next and execute. Now you might notice that my installation is going faster than at your end. This is because I am speeding the video uh, at my own end here, but keep clicking next. This is the port number 3306. Make sure you keep it as is. If you change it, make sure you write it down. Here, I'll be typing root as a password. It is a weak password, but I'm okay. This is only for testing purposes. Click next. Now I will keep this uh, window service name as is. Click next again. Now we continue with the installation. Keep clicking next. The installation procedure has been completed. So installation is complete. Now we click uh, finish and we back to the desktop. The workbench is triggered. We attempt to log in. Let's make sure we say safe password. Uh, enter root, our password is root, and click OK. Now we're drilling to Sakila, a default uh, database installed by SQL, just to make sure everything is in order, and everything seems to work. That's all. Bye for now.